one of the great disappointments, I think I can say in Europe is that this dislike of the present administration of multilateralism, and then as far as trade is concerned, particularly the WTO. We created together, United States and Europe were at the origin, we created together the WTO, and we had in mind the development of international trade for the benefit for both of us and for the rest of the world. Apparently, this new administration doesn't like that much uh, multilateralism, although it's an element of international cooperation, which has always been in the American tradition. That's one of the disappointments, I would say, on the European side. For most of the post-war period, the US and EU have uh, basically defined their economic relationship through the World Trade Organization. Uh, we helped build uh, the GATT WTO system um, we set the basic rules, at least until very recently, and it has served as a mechanism to manage our trade relations. But uh, the Trump administration is much less committed to WTO. It's been much more interested in pursuing what it calls America first, and it's created a situation that uh, is much less stable and much more open to conflict. One other uh, factor is the weakening of the WTO as an institution. Uh, that is going to get even worse later this year when the terms of two appellate body members expire. And the appellate body, which is a key part of the dispute settlement system, and basically the way that WTO members try to resolve disputes without resorting to trade conflict, that mechanism will basically uh, go dead. We're in a uh, situation that probably is less stable than at any time in the post-war period. Where it goes is um, unclear even for people who follow it closely and it's um, a situation that's ripe with risk for trade, for investment, and for financial markets.